So the Bad Batch Animated series is now showing at Disney Plus. It is now on season one, and we also have merchandise for that animated series. We have crosshairs. So let's review this action figure. This is what you get out of your um, action figure purchase. So basically, of course, you have to have your figure. It ha it comes with a removable helmet. A uh, rifle, a uh, sniper rifle that um, configures in two pieces. So you could um, take this rifle down, take out the barrel, and separate the main body of the rifle for storage on the backpack. So the backpack or the life support system of the trooper is over here. We also got a pistol for the figure and that is the composition of the box so if anything is uh, missing sometimes it happens then you are free to return your figure okay so let's talk about the individual accessories first before we take on the figure so we have the blaster or the pistol of the trooper we have the backpack or the life support system or accessory system or um, whatever and that is the peg system for the back which is a good system we have the sniper rifle which configures in two pieces you could take off the barrel for storage on this thing on the backpack and the removable helmet now for the range finder on this um, helmet, the, you have to take off the peg and then um, uh, cut off a small piece of the peg that is inside as you could see over there, that piece, that peg is um, quite long and it could still be trimmed off. So when you ins uh, put this helmet on the figure, um, this range finder won't be popping off the side of the helmet. So just a quick, a quick simple fix for this figure. So I'll be doing it later. As for the gimmick, let's talk about weapon storage. So this side up. Yeah, writing. Okay. So you have main body of the rifle so you could um, pull out the barrel which is surprising that it comes with a suppressor but i checked with the tv uh, tv series so it really has a suppressor okay anyway so the gimmick is you put your rifle this way for weapon storage and you put the barrel it has a peg on the side and you peg it on the side of the backpack this way so if crosshairs needs to take a hike to the designated area of operation he has this capacity to store his rifle on his backpack this way but um yeah nice uh, considerable gimmick but uh, in real life, I won't be storing my rifle this way if I don't have a rifle bag. Even if this is something of a rifle bag, a futuristic rifle bag, I still won't carry my rifle this way. Because I'm ex exposing the, the barrel of my rifle, especially the barrel, this side, that side, it's wide open. And also, I'm also exposing the guts of my rifle and the optics is also uncovered. So I would rather store my sniper rifle or my DMR or designated marksman rifle in a designated rifle bag instead of this way. Well, this is for convenience, but if you would come to think about it, if you are on operations, you won't be uh, turning your rifle into two pieces but instead it should always be on the ready this way so on the ready which means you'll be storing your rifle this way so you'll be hiking with it in full configuration 
So we have crosshairs locked and loaded. Okay, so just for general observation regarding um, stormtroopers or clone troopers, um, the weapon storage would always be, I observed, would always be on the left side. But majority of the clone troopers would be right hand shooters. So if you're a right hand shooter, so I was expecting that your sidearm would always be stored on the left or on the right side I mean for easy access or manipulation of your weapon system but this is a really different um, configuration because you have a right-handed shooter crosshair is, is a right-handed shooter with a secondary pistol or the secondary firearm in the left or on the left, uh, left side of the character and especially the orientation of the pistol the pistol handle or the pistol grip is situated this way now I was expecting if you're a, a right-handed shooter that it's going to be a cross draw then the orientation of the pistol handle or blaster handle would be on the other side would be over here instead of here just uh, something to nitpick about with regards to Star Wars because that is what I observe. So anyway, this is my own action figure. So I'd be cutting this um, holster off from the left side and be gluing it on the right side. For a quick um, overview of articulation of the figure, just like any Black Series action figure, the new ones of course, there would be two points of articulation for the head, especially the neck area. So we have the chin and the clavicle area for manipulation. We have rotation and side-to-side -side movement for the arms. We have a single point of uh, bend or articulation for the elbows. Rotation of the um, arms would also be, uh, forearms I mean, would also be on the elbow area. We have a swivel and rotation for the hands and we have, as for torso articulation, we have a ball over here. Now, we have, for the leg area, we have a, a cut on the thigh for rotation of the thigh. We also have a single point of articulation for the knee. We have a uh, rocker and a swivel for the foot so just enough articulation for the figure decent enough so to appreciate the details of the figure let us go into the photos and the video shots